When you're in Fort Collins, there's one road going north to south that you're gonna find yourself on more times than not. Highway 287, College Avenue. And then a border going east-west we're gonna to talk to you about is Prospect. Sure, you might find yourself making your way into town off of Highway, or sorry, I-25 from DIA or Denver, but within town, really the main arteries are gonna be 287 and then east-west, you know, there's gonna be Prospect, Drake, Horsetooth, Harmony, Trilby. There's gonna to be tons of different areas. And although I've talked about in different videos, the six sections of Fort Collins, I've also talked about the different quadrants of Fort Collins and how they act differently. And that's what we're gonna focus on in this video series uh, over the next four videos is the different four different quadrants, Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, Southeast Fort Collins, what's going on, pros, cons, housing statistics, what you can expect in those different areas. What's up everybody? This is Patrick Sugup with Sugup Real Estate Services here in Fort Collins, Colorado. And if you're new to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about Fort Collins, subscribe. And if at the end of the video you enjoyed the content, give it a big thumbs up, comment, engage. And as much as I like making these real estate YouTube videos, my team and I like working more with buyers, sellers, investors here in Northern Colorado for all the real estate needs. So give me a call, text, send me an email, whatever you prefer. I've got your back when it comes to moving, relocating, buying, investing here in Fort Collins. Without any further delay, let's look at the Northwest quadrant of Fort Collins, Colorado. Enjoy. So what are some main characteristics of the Northwest quadrant of Fort Collins? Well, specifically, one of the biggest is that CSU, the campus of CSU is located in this quadrant. CSU Stadium, their vet school, large vet school on the west side of town. And then you've also got your river district heading north that is being developed. Larger multifamily. I, one of the things that's going on is North Old Town's redevelopment. This was a pretty dilapidated area not a lot going on. And there's people that are, are reinvesting. They're either scraping, building, there's a lot of auto dealerships here, used auto dealerships that are not necessarily there anymore, that have been sold. Again, multi-use buildings are being put here. As discussed in prior videos, you know, our skyline's pretty low, but here they're absolutely expanding that probably upwards to five, six, seven stories tall, maybe even greater. So the redevelopment of North Old Town is, is definitely something that's gone on here in Northwest or the Northwest Quadrant. And if your jam is heading up to Red Feather, getting the hiking, going rafting down the Pooter, this is gonna be your closest access point. Again, jumping onto 287, if you're in this Northwest Quadrant, you're gonna be in the mountains, kind of near Picnic Rock, probably within 10 to 15 minutes and uh, quickly being able to go, you know, swimming, rock climbing, whatever, you know, your desire is, this Northwest Quadrant is absolutely gonna be, you know, one of the main characteristics and drivers of what's going on here. Mountain Avenue, the probably most popular or well-known street of houses in Fort Collins and most desired street to live on, probably in all of Colorado, or all of Fort Collins, is located in this Northwest Quadrant. Again, this is gonna be a neighborhood where, you know, 5Ks, parades uh, are driven there. The trolley goes through here. It's a, it's a single lane going east and west with a large median that it just, it kind of bodes well to walkability, to biking downtown. So, and, it, and it's just got beautiful houses, beautiful architecture, older buildings, Mountain Avenue, which then the only grocery probably in a square or in, a, in, a, in one mile radius is Beaver's Market. And Beaver's Market is just such a cool, the only family owned grocer left in Fort Collins. And it's just this kind of hole in the wall, you know, grocery that it, it's, I mean, it's definitely not the cleanest or anything like that, but it is family owned and operated and they do a great job. And within downtown in that mountain, mountain shields area, this is really gonna be your only grocery. People go there, they walk there, they buy their groceries and then walk home. So it's just a cool, really cool feel that we don't have a lot of here in Fort Collins uh, that you might in bigger you know, cities that you're condo and you walk downstairs to the grocery and walk back upstairs or whatever it might be. We don't have a ton of that kind of uh, big city feel. So 
that's kind of the characteristics of Northwest Fort Collins. Again, CSU, the uh, Old Town North redevelopment, the Equine Center on the west side of town, Mountain Avenue, just some really cool things going on here, Northwest Quadrant. And now let's look at some kind of the pros and cons of what I see here in this, this area. So jumping into some of these pros. Northwest Fort Collins, close to 287, Red Feather right up the road, now 30 to 45 minute drive, but again, Pooter's right there. This redevelopment is something that, it's, it is a waiting game. So depending on how long these developers, investors, builders take to come and do these projects and how long Fort Collins you know, takes to approve them, but long-term, lots of cool stuff in, in this area. Additionally, pros are gonna be, this is like downtown biking area, right? So there's not a ton of trails as we've talked about in maybe in other videos, but this Northwest Quadrant really has slow moving traffic, large bike lanes, super easy to get from the west to east to downtown. So bikeability is, is absolutely huge. And then you have the stability of CSU. Now this is gonna jump into our cons, but the stability of CSU in this quadrant really, again, is Fort Collins' backbone. We have one, of, it's one of our, lar it is our largest employer here in Fort Collins. So if you're gonna have a house here in Northern Colorado, Fort Collins, and then this Northwest quadrant, CSU is gonna provide you that stability to know that, you know, long-term, probably people are gonna always want to live here. Which then let's flip that, you know, to cons. Now, if you're looking at buying a house, it's a way of life. It's something that you just have to potentially deal with is renters to your left and right. And ultimately it's not necessarily renters who are the issue. It's kind of the landlords who operate the rentals who are the issue, you know, are they letting crazy amount of people in here? Six dogs, you know, are they abiding by their leases, their rules and regulations? Are they taking care of the property? Is the landlord putting money back into properties? Are they just basically being a vampire and sucking everything out? So I'm not blaming renters by any means, but if you're in this Northwest area and you're in CSUville, USA, you're probably gonna have renters or rentals near and around you. So definitely a potential con if you're there. Also, what I've been told in previous videos is the train, the train that's going on Mason. If you're in this Northwest Quadrant, it's just gonna be a way of life. You are going to have to deal with that train that's going north and south on Mason and potentially the one uh, on Cherry Street, but that's kind of cutting into the Northeast Quadrant. So con is, is CSU Rentals, the train, and then again, the redevelopment, great long-term, but how long? Where, where are we looking at as far as these developers come into play? There's a Taco John's here in this Northwest area that's just been vacant for, gosh, five, seven, 10 years. I, I, I lose track of time, I'm starting to get a little bit older. But there's a plan there for a multi-use, multi-story building that's just been, I'm not sure why, but just on delay. So it's a waiting game. And then the redevelopment of the further, the further you go north, who knows how long that lasts, but if you're kind of in that more traditional old town north area it's stable it's it's you're not waiting for anything your grocers there and, and beavers but definitely if you're looking more north for cons it's it's going to be a waiting game and the last con you know i don't have necessarily the data besides the school rankings to dictate this but historically the schools just have not performed as well as other areas in Fort Collins. My theories behind this is the Northwest area are kind of more ranching type uh, families, farmer type you know, individuals where the children are probably going to be working on the ranch, on the farm, more so than they are desiring to go to college. So possibly that could be a reason why the test scores aren't necessarily where some of the other schools are here in Northern Colorado but the schools are great. You know, they're, uh, they do well. I believe just the numbers don't dictate based off of the familial status and what they're gonna be doing long-term to provide income for them and them, their families. So final con, schools historically don't test as well, but I think they're, they're actually great in their own right. And finally, 
Let's talk about what the statistics are for houses that have sold in this area. Now, as you will see on the map, it's gonna be clustered downtown. Obviously, that's gonna be where the majority of our sales are, just based off of density. But there will be some outlier sales as you kind of go out in the outskirts that will be bigger properties, larger acreages, which is interesting because the, the median lot size was 0.19 acres, but the average lot size was 0.42 acres. So there are gonna be properties that sell with substantial land in this area. And the median sales price is gonna be about $420,000. And these numbers were taken from July 1st, 2020 to December 31st, 2020. And as we've seen, appreciation has been pretty strong just even in the beginning of this year. So something to consider, probably a little bit higher, but for that price on, so a 0.19 acre, $420,000 house, you're gonna have a three bedroom, two bathroom, one car garage built in the 1960s, about 1,850 square feet or so, and about $250 per square foot. So those are some housing numbers, statistics for you to keep in mind when you're looking in this area. With real estate, it's, it's so dictated on location. You know, even Mountain Avenue is gonna act differently from, you know, a street, you know, two to the two blocks south, Olive. And more so, Northwest, Northeast, Southwest, Southeast are all going to act a little bit different, very similar you know, as we are in this general region, but uh, differently. So keep those numbers in mind if you're looking. And uh, also as to maybe why you're looking at moving here. Is outdoor, is you know, is the outdoor scene your place? Do you wanna be close to be able to bike downtown? That's really what's gonna be dictating here in this Northwest Quadrant. Or shoot, you're a professor and you just wanna be able to walk to class or you're a, a parent looking to invest and your kid wants to just be able to walk to class or bike to class. These are the big, things that operate Northwest Fort Collins. And so I hope you guys have enjoyed. You understood the area a little bit better. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out with a text or call or email or send me, you know, give me a comment below. I'm curious what you feel if you're a local here in town, what you feel I've missed out on, what are some cool characteristics and opportunities of Northwest Fort Collins. Or if you're from out of state, what else I could help you with, you know? The, I didn't talk too much about Horsetooth Reservoir or uh, Masonville or Laporte or the growth of 287, but those are all just different smaller things that maybe didn't necessarily make my most important items of this, this conversation, but are important. So enjoy, I hope you guys liked this, uh, this video. And again, please consider subscribing, commenting, liking, and reaching out if you're considering relocating here to Fort Collins. I'd love to earn your business here, you know, as your real estate agent. So hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, take care.